everyone to Behind the Lens. I have with me today film director Kamakya Narayan Singh, who made film Bhor, which went to 24 international film festivals and also was in Indian Panorama in 2018. Welcome, Kamakya. Thank you, sir. It's an honor to be uh, having conversation with you. Nice uh, to have you. Yes. It's, uh, my uh, my when, question. I think so. When I was doing my internship, I I used to I assisted you. So in Lok Sabha TV. Very very nice to see you. You know, uh, going on and making a feature film, and a very very good film. So Kamakya, my first question is yes. You said uh, you wanted to make film when you were 17 years old and uh, you had that uh, desire in you and it went on and on and on and you finally made a film when you were 34 years old. So my first question is what does it take to make a feature film? I mean you took 14, uh, almost 17 years to make the film. So what does it actually take for a newcomer to make a feature film? Uh, see, uh, sir, first of all, I would like to, uh, before coming to the point, I would like to, uh, I said it's an honor to be part of this conversation because uh, when I passed out from my college and when I uh, was uh, doing my internship in Lok Sabha TV, I met you. Uh, I, I, I remember the day, uh, so, we, I, had, I had a conversation for you for a month. I, I used to meet you and you used to tell us about camera and everything. Uh, but there was a match you were covering uh, between parliamentarians. So Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, if you know. Yes. Ex-parliamentarians and parliamentarians, if you remember. Yes. And I was holding your tripod and I said, sir, if I can get a job, and uh, that would be very helpful. And I want to make films, but... Later on, I want to make films. And you shared your experience about how you started and how things went on for you. So, and then you recommended me for my first job. And uh, with a uh, small screen, Avinandan Sekri and Prashant Sarin used to be uh, uh, honor of small screen. So, and there where I started learning direction more. Uh, and started earning also. That, that was my first job and I give you all credit of uh, getting me my first job. Um, and from there it started. So I was I think so 19 then and I think so when I, was, I went to college, I, dis I thought yeah, I will make films. So after that, it was 19 when everything started, 1920 when, uh, 20 when it, everything started. And I feel uh, thankful to you that you helped me because those days it was very different to get a reference or recommendation uh, very difficult to uh, for a person who have uh, who had come from a small town and had no uh, who could uh, who had known anyone in media industry so that way it's been an honor now to come and talk to you or have a conversation with you oh, wonderful wonderful to have you so yeah tell me about your journey so journey journey started there uh, and then See, when I was 16, 17, I started thinking of stories. So, uh, uh, I started writing stories. I, I, I started writing poetry. Uh, I think so at the, when I was in 11th standard, I, uh, one of my books got published. Uh, as a poetry book pub, got published. And then I started writing stories. So, it was there that in my mind that I'll make film uh, someday. But in Delhi, we were more inclined towards documentaries. So, we uh, did documentary. I, I joined social work. And see, uh, childhood, it was all about watching Amitabh Bachchan, watching Mithul Chakrabarti. But when uh, I grew uh, and when I came to college and there is where uh, I was introduced to my teacher, Swagat Sen, introduced me to uh, Satyadi Tre, films of Satyadi Tre, Madal Sen, Sam Danigal. And, and I, I was a social work student then. So then I had in mind ki, and I come from, uh, my uh, ancestors are from village. So I had a village background. So I always wanted to tell those kind of Ankur kind of stories or the way Sham Banigal has done, the way Satyajit Ray had met Sadgati or uh, Pothar Panchali. So that was always in mind. And, but I was, a, I'm a lazy fellow also. So 
it took me this many years the reason was that i started doing documentaries lifestyle features so for bore what happened one day i was sitting with my friends i was suggesting them the ideas what you can make films on what topics you can make films and then i was walking and then all of a sudden i realized that i can i should do a story on because sanitation was one topic and i suggested them why don't you do a story on sanitation when the whole country is talking about sanitation why we are not talking about the last person and for me the last person were the musahars because musahars live in the plain area uh, uh, in in patna uh, so my village is from 30 kilometers from patna and i have seen them there and they they are hardly uh, in touch with any development and but they live happily so i thought how if they get the sanitation plan in to them how the government when government reaches to them with the sanitation plan what do they react to and with that situation i wanted to make a film uh, on sanitation and the caste system and one thing always uh, uh, was in my mind was caste system i grew up in assam where there was no caste system so i did not understand what caste system is so at the age of 18 when i come to delhi university 18 1789 when i came to delhi university i realized there is something different uh, or fabric than in assam assam doesn't have caste system and originally i was from bihar but thankfully i am telling you and honestly i am telling you in my village i was yesterday also i was talking to my uncle that in my village we have a very different system we have a uh, cordial relationship between the caste so i wanted that that should also come in uh, my picture my story and then when i was doing my travel show from right from kashmir to kanyakumari and i was uh, when i used to do travel i i have found that the way uh, a narrative has been created in this country about the caste system on the ground it is different yeah there are cases where there has been atrocities but at the same time people have been living cordially so i wanted to make a cordial happy living society's story so you wanted to tell a story but uh, how do how did you go about it how do you, how does uh, a young person who wants to make the first film how does he approach you know how did you work on your script how did you find your finance how did you manage to distribute it how did you release your film which is which is very difficult for a first time filmmaker you know that's one of the biggest hassles people have story to tell but somehow you know it never gets on to uh, to you know to get it released to make it how did that happen sir uh, i have been uh, uh, working since 10 12 years in the industry now and i been thankful to god in that case uh, see producer was like uh, he was a family friend he wanted to make a film and he was looking for ideas and there is where i came in so i was giving my friends ideas and then they said ki nahi we uh, why don't you do this film then if you are giving this idea then there i thought let's do the, uh, the film apart from the producer part it's for a uh, first time filmmaker getting everything is little difficult but it's how you pursue how uh, you how passionate passionate you are about uh, doing thing is very important uh, i remember see i when i narrated my story to uh, my producer i think so in the first or the second meeting he con- got convinced that we should do this story because he also comes from bihar originally from bihar he's a businessman in indore uh so in the first in the second meeting he got convinced that we should do this story because we should tell this story because it's different uh than the routine uh, stories once producer got but producer was a new producer so lots of people suggested me you should uh, as a first time filmmaker there should be someone who is experienced as producer to produce it so it was little difficult to get everyone on board so i think so i met in uh, dop is uh, before uh, i zeroed down on a dop uh, i uh, uh, met five six casting directors before uh, uh, finalizing a casting director see for me script was very important when i wrote the script so in script how i uh, uh, basically so to narrate the script and everyone liked the script so your cameraman liked it 
your uh, casting director liked it but the conviction the way i wanted to make it they were on a different uh, yeah so finding people was one of the most difficult thing so once i finalized my casting director uh, then the problem was getting actors because i wanted uh, people who could come with me be there in the village for with me for a month or so so that i we do a workshop and so most of the commercial act most of the actors who are in bombay they are uh, they are busy and they do they think that they can go and just act for me it was more about the body language the the more was behavior <laughs> and those behavior pattern body language could only come once you be in the village so how, how uh, did you that was how did you find uh, the character budhni sugun and chamku how did you find them this is my first film before this i have never done any uh, fiction but i was very clear with my vision what kind of thing i want so i went to my casting director and said ki he had done a, a film called darjeeling unlimited so in darjeeling unlimited and uh, valley of flowers or i forgot the name of the film so in th- that film i had seen that film so uh, so i told him that you have taken non actors the actors who are uh, who whom he trained and made them actors so can we do that so we we'll look for 10 15 days then i got again convinced that the p- people who are not who have not acted for before or who are not trained actors will be very difficult to be trained so again we thought of let's try actors from theater then from different so uh, from bihar we got some actors from bombay we got some actors from delhi we got so uh, budhni uh, used to work with uh, uh, asmita theaters uh, saveri god uh, so uh, we auditioned her uh, and then uh, we finalized her humko parichha dena hai vyah nahi karna babu roz roz humre vyah ka baat kahe karta hai sugan so i was very party i'll tell you so for, for sugan so this guy comes and meets me in a cafe coffee day that i would like to act in your film so i said i don't find you uh, that uh, fit enough in that character but we'll act we'll work sometime uh, so he then again one day dilip sir called me up and told me tama kya you should see him once on screen so i said theek hai so this guy sent me a video and where he just uh, uh, did that chashma wala scene uh, he wears glass and opens it i felt that i was looking for the innocence in the eyes and you can see in the whole film that innocence is there in his eyes so i was looking for that innocence in uh, uh, the boy's character hmm ye hua na pa ha i was looking for a smartness in father's character and i did not audition uh, uh, the father so i must have auditioned 600 people and i could not find the father and then finally one day dilip sir sent me dilip sir our casting director dilip shankar sent me an uh, a short film and i say he will be the father aur saadi milega ka the casting was a process for us then other than this uh, in bihar we i think so in uh, i we worked for 40 days for casting so every day we used to get people what i found was ki i wanted to cast lot of local artists because i always felt that local artists do not get space but I, what i found was ki in bihar there are only few artists left most of them they come to delhi or bombay so that was one thing which i had a problem but so it was who, an interesting who, who was a local artist in that um uh, local artist was uh, the person uh, the person who gives you uh, uh, that uh, dance uh, uh, okay. contractor mm-hmm. then your uh, everyone apart from that uh, sugan's friend so Su- uh, sugan's friend is a uh, yeah okay. uh, from the from bihar uh, one of the things i notice in your film your film doesn't have uh, violence your films doesn't have very negative characters for example i was thinking about this uh, character of thakur 
you know the thakur normally bollywood has kind of demonized these thakurs you know the moment thakur comes he is a kind of uh, you know villain and very very bollywoodish character but in your film you know thakur is a very different person which i guess is close to reality so he he is with the one who actually helps a girl in uh, going to school and you know so how did you uh, approach these characters see uh, i always feel when you are writing a script uh, uh, once you write the story before screenplay you, what you should do is you should build characters so uh, my teacher taught me and i always tell people that uh, shole is known for uh, thakur shole is known for gappar singh so always when you are writing a script canvas your characters one thing then when we were writing the film uh, three of us wrote the film bhaskar me and um, ranjan so i and ranjan uh, when we had just we were working on the story we went to ladda and we were discussing one day ki have you ever seen a thakur with a uh, shoes hunter in hand i have not seen that he also he told me the same and our experience were that no none of the thakurs I mean, there might be few of them but they have been always shown that way so we wanted to bring some good characters of thakur what is your name my name is buthni ise school bhej de ek din pure parivar ka naam roshan karegi my childhood was uh, my grandfather was a farmer and he took care of everyone who worked with him all his life his children also marriages also and same with my co writers also ki their grandfather their parents were had a very cordial relationship with the people uh, working together in the society so we wanted to bring and we had decided ki we will not create anyone who is a villain in the film the villain should be the situation the idea the thought what champu thinks might be right from his perspective and what uh, the, your uh, sugan thinks might be right from his perspective so everyone has a perspective but nobody should be violent we see violence a lot in other films so let's no. give the viewers a feel that without a violence also a situation can be different and a story can be told yeah that's something i found in your film and you also managed to introduce uh, a lot of comedy here and there you know like the scene where uh, the girl is applying cream and he thinks you know you get fairer or get it beautiful by applying cream he starts applying the cream cream and the situation where you know he's uh, going out his friends ask him where are you going and he says mai bhai matke kyun le ja rahe ho tumhe bhai dahi laane ja raha hu you know things things like that i thought i had that typical touch of humor you know how did you yes sir i at least um, i i am from i was born and brought up in assam and um, from uh, kashmir to kanyakumari i found that in every local language there is humor, humor. in day to day life when somebody asks something the reply will be in humor either it be haryanvi agar haryanvi se puchoge if you ask haryanvi ki uh, is this bus going to kanpur he will say uh, mm. am i the conductor or something theek hai so that sense of humor is in punjab also in haryana also in bihar also but what has happened in last 10 15 years we have secluded ourselves from those humor uh we are, have become more individual uh, in ye so we need to go to kapil sharma show to get humor in our life where is in the village culture in the rural area yes. there was humor with everyone so i i have seen uh, the person who used to plow our field we used to have fun with my grandfather he used to talk in a funny way to my grandfather the same with the musars uh, who were in our village they used to have funny uh, things so the situations were funny in the marriages people used to uh, laugh at jokes so those situations have gone away from our life 
and today we uh, we need to have uh, uh, Kapil Sharma show or other shows for those humor to smile and laugh. Whereas in the family system, we had lot. So that I I have wanted to show. Also, there was this uh, the Sugun character. You know, he's he's always in awe of her of his uh, educated wife. But there comes a time when they get money. He actually changes his character. He joins his father, and they both, you know, make a plan to spend his money. You know, probably that was the only situation I found where a little bit of his character changes. Sugun's character, you know, seeing the money between Sir, him and his father. I would say that in every person's life, a part comes. where the person changes for a time being but good consciousness prevails later so i think so in our character also in even it with me also sometime it happens that a bad things come in my mind everyone has that so i wanted that part when he gets money even he has a first thing everyone in sociology in sociology you call it sanskritization whenever money comes you try to imitate the person on the higher start of society what he is doing so when the money comes he is proud he is proud that my wife has done what none of the mushahar has done and to celebrate it we need to make noise yes. so there is where he spent the money so what up, what up? i i feel it's innocence also what about uh, the ending of the film i remember asking you once uh, and in the court room sir i would like to say this that um, mm. ma- ma- in the court room champu says this that none of uh, what do you say uh, no musahar has done this kind of a big thing uh, yes. this big thing so it was important for us to make noise to celebrate and tell everyone that busar also can do this kon chamko ji huzur collector ka pura paisa kha gaya tum abre busar samaj mein aaj tak kono ne itna bada kaam nahi kiya tha babu ke bariyati ke liye paisa mila tha kya re tumko tell me about the climax of your film uh, i remember asking you uh, you know in the end they come back from city to village i remember asking you you know why didn't you let them come into the village and see those toilets being built but uh, you told me that it was a conscious decision that you didn't want them to come into the village tell me a bit about that how Sir, did you... i always feel as a development uh, uh, development can i have studied uh, i have been student of development means i have studied social work i always feel that development should be why do they come to a city to uh, get better life but i feel in the city is you do not have better life so only for bread and butter you come here so that bread and butter if taken care in the village they should go back to the village and that is what i wanted to signify in the film that let's go back to our roots and let's try to do things there if we think that life is good here it's not the scene here the life is bad there if you have at least uh, a small house also you have a place where you can go and breathe a good air here you have everything polluted you have to live in slum if you are a poor person so and sl- life of a slum is very uh, difficult tell me uh, earlier you know uh, our so called middle cinema art cinema uh, directors like shyam benegal sachajit re adur gopal krishna gautam ghosh uh, all these directors when they made their film the subject was always always rooted you know it was rooted in villages it was rooted in uh, mostly in village life village characters but slowly uh, films change you know so after a long time i actually saw your film which was uh, you know again rooted back in village talking about villages uh 
So do you think you know films have changed that it has become more urban urban oriented now? So uh, there is, when when we completed the script, I met a corporate house. He said, "You have a nice story, but change the premise, make it urban. If you make it urban, I can help you, and I'll give you the banner." I walked, and it was a big offer. I walked out of the, I walked out of his room, and I thought of. I called my friend, uh, Ranjan, and I told, "We will not change the premise of the story." The reason was the reason is I feel 90s and 2000s last two decades there has been a huge migration and the second generation who have been in urban area have got cut from rural area. So I feel that might be a reason. Films from Mumbai, the metro cities have traveled to the small cities now. So you see Meerut in the film, you see Banaras in the film, you see Lucknow in the film. In 1780s, and 80s, you see there was uh, two kind of film. One was the urban metros film, and one was the parallel cinema was in the village. That, but now also there are 60 percent people. So the people who are sitting in the film business, they feel that the only urban population consume uh, their films, so they feel that they should serve only urban stories. We have more stories in the village, more fun in the village, and that can be people can watch those kind of films also. So that might be a reason. Um, less film people have films, people have stories, but I feel there are less producers and the less corporate house who want to make them, the, those kind of films. You know, uh, a lot of changes have come in mainstream Bollywood films also now. You know, you have heroes like Aishman Kurana, you have uh, Raj Kumar Rao, you have Nawazuddin, who actually rule some of the mainstream cinemas, you know. So, and there are also a bit of offbeat stories. You don't need a big hero. So much that even heroes like uh, Rithik Roshan have opted, you know, to play a village character uh, in one of his films. So, do you think there is a bit of change in Bollywood that people... Uh... Sir, that is what I'm saying. It has gone from Mumbai, Delhi to the villages. So, uh, not, not the village, small town. Uh, Rithik Roshan plays a role of a, uh, of a teacher in Patna, a small town. Mm. Um, Ayushman Kuranar plays a role of uh, Mathura, then he has, he has played a role of Kanpur, Kanpur. in... Uh, um, uh, he was he was in Kanpur and Lucknow in uh, recent that yeah. uh, film Bala, Bala. and then um, another film where he plays a, a role of girl. He was I think so in Mathura. So Mathura, Banaras, Patna has come, but I don't know con consciously also uh, the producers and the corporate houses have ignored the villages, the life of village. In India, whereas 60-65 percent people today also live in the villages of India, and there is more humor in their life. Yeah, actually, you know, earlier uh, our heroes up to Amitabh Bachchan, I remember. I mean, they did play urban characters, but you would always see all these heroes somewhere they played a village character. You know, village Amitabh character yeah. or the actors before that. Uh, so hopefully. And then came, of course, the, the change came when Shah Rukh Khan became a star and everything became urban. He was, a, he was probably the first urban star, you know. Urban I don't, I don't uh, remember him ever playing a villager. He was always... Uh, I'm not star. serious. I'm not yeah? serious. Yeah. In so Swadesh, a bit of it, but no, never, never. He has yeah, not done it. He was always, yeah. So I think that's that changes came. So hopefully, slowly, you know, the films may go back again to village characters. Village I don't characters. know, they have gone up to the town, maybe next they'll go to the village. Since childhood, we read uh, Mahasweta Devi, Munshi Premchan, uh, Tagore. The, our stories were in the village. Premchan's, all of his stories were in the village. Beautiful stories. Even you'll find uh, a few scenes in our film also, you'll find that inspired from Munshi Premchan's Kafan. So we were brought up with these stories. 
I start. I I I I was born in a small town in Guwahati, but all my summer vacations were in the village. So I got inspired, and beautiful things I saw when I went in my vacations uh, to my village. I got inspired from there, and I think so. People of our generation who spent their villages, because for us in childhood, summer vacation was not about going holidays to uh, Malaysia and no. Thailand. No, our no, no, no. vacations was going to. village uh, so i feel that people like us writers directors they can make this kind of films it is about the producers who are willing or not who want to put in money or not and if they put in money it will come back or not but see there is again how you market it if it's marketed well this can work i always feel and i have a belief in in india wherever i have gone i have not found a person leaving the seat and going after watching the film means in the between the film they have not left the seat they have enjoyed it and i have got standing ovation every time in india every time in india which country uh, was your film received the best where did you get the best response for your film uh um, Egypt Egypt was the best Egypt was the best Cairo uh, recently even Ottawa was great people uh, in Ottawa there were lots of people of indian origin Egypt there was no one indian but uh, as it was a film festival most of them were film lovers so they knew indian culture so one of uh, the critic asked me that the way you have seen, shown the caste system I don't. I have never read about the caste system in India. So uh, different. I've seen. I I know there are. Uh, there is fight among the caste. I told her if there was a fight, there would have been a civil war. People have been living cordially. That is why there are one or two instances. Those instances cannot be put in the history and made that there was a problem. if people would not be living cordially our society would not have come to this age true very true uh, so what is your next project what are you planning i i want to uh, work on kashmir kashmir has been in news uh, uh, since years and i want to uh, work on kashmir the and kashmir narrative has been presented in wrong way in media so i wanted that the facts uh, i i have done research with my friends so i find ki the facts which has been uh, uh, served to us uh, by media in last uh, 30 40 years uh, have something uh, uh, the facts are different than what we see in media and i want to work on that so i have written the first draft of the script so let's see how it goes okay and will you be shooting in kashmir mostly uh mostly i want to shoot in kashmir so everything goes well if everything goes well i would like to shoot in kashmir kashmir i i have traveled all across kashmir it's one of the most beautiful place it's the people are uh, great it's the the way the story of kashmir is told then whole kashmir kashmir is jammu kashmir and i feel apart from two three districts and in that those two three districts apart from three four pockets there is no problem in kashmir so i want to deal that jammu kashmir that way so that people understand that the whole of jammu kashmir is not a problem and there is no problem in kashmir few people in few pockets are trying to create problems and that's just politics not the people we need to include those people in the mainstream of our country it's very important yeah i guess wherever there is trouble it's always you know few people few pockets it's few never pockets. miss never yeah it's never the general but the narr- the narration of kashmir has been put in such a way that we feel that the whole kashmir might be burning and every kashmiri might be a terrorist so neither every kashmiri is terrorist nor the whole kashmir is burning so that story of kashmir i want to bring so 
So that's interesting, Kamakya, and uh, we are looking forward to looking seeing your uh, next film, and hope that also brings you a lot of uh, awards and international festivals. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Follow so us on Instagram and uh, also Facebook. Thank you so much. Thank you.